Hi friends. Uh, today we are going to start day two of, of Revit architecture. So in day two we we are going to learn how to create walls and what are what are the draw tools and modifying tools and duplication of walls and floor and again duplication of floor. Okay. Now let's get started our in software. Okay. So I think. So this is you have learned in previous class. So how to create grid lines and how to create levels. So this one, right? Now we'll continue the class. So start go with ground floor. Now see in architectural tab. So this is my wall, right? If you select the wall. See in property box, we are getting basic wall generic 200 mm, and the thickness of wall is now 200 mm, and the draw tool. See now we can see the more options. So in that first one line, second one rectangle, third one inscribed polygon, and next one circumscribed polygon, and next one circle, next one start and radius arc. Next will be center ends arc. Next one tangent end arc. Next one fillet arc and pick lines. Okay. Next will be that wall faces. Uh, we'll see in next classes in further classes. Okay. And see in the modify bar. So first one will be align. Next one move. Next one offset. Next one copy. Next mirror. Here we have two types of mirror. One is pick axis and draw axis. And this one rotate, this one trim and extend, and this one split, split with gap, array and scale, trim and extend single element, trim and extend multi elements, pin, unpin and delete. So these are the options in modify toolbar. Okay. Now we go with draw tools. First one line. Already you have known line and pick lines in previous session. Just you just uh, go with now. See, sixty, forty, sixty. 40 and 60, right? See, easily we can create a walls that you can check it in. So this is now 2D. See here we have one option like visuals settings. If you select the graphic settings into the realistic, we can see the difference now. Okay, and directly you can go with view and 3D view. Here we can see directly in a 3D. See, so this is our wall thickness of 200 mm, right? So still now we need we didn't selected any height of floor. So to the view cube, select this and go to the top constraint. In top constraint, you need to select the floor heights. So this is like ground floor, right? First floor, and apply. Now we can see exactly the height of floor is 10 feet now. Okay, height of walls are 10 feet. Now again come to the ground floor uh, and see. Here we will discuss next tools. So next one is rectangle. If you select the rectangle option. Just from one corner to the other corner, we can directly click it, and after that, we can go with the dimension. Now, 30 feet. Enter. So, like this, we can select it. And if you select this one, we'll get this dimension, 40 feet. Enter. Like this, we can create our walls. Okay. Next one is inscribed and circumscribed polygons. So in I think uh, in AutoCAD classes you have learned what is inscribed, what is circumscribed. Okay. Now see directly I am mean telling and I am mean drawing. Uh, select the inscribed. You can directly select number of sides six sides, and I will giving a uh, radius of 30 feet. Enter. Okay. And if you go with circumscribe, if I select uh, eight. Number of sides eight, and I will select eight C, and again twenty five feet. Enter. Now we can see the different shapes of walls. 
okay and this one circle so if i want a circular shape with a thickness of 200 mm wall then i need to select this and radius will be 20 feet okay now next last one uh, start end radius arc so see here we can observe start end radius of my arc it's 180 degrees now i can create a wall of this okay next one center ends arc means see uh, for this we are going to with select that here what will happen means so if i select radius of 20 feet enter but see here you can observe how much radius you want that much radius you can create an arc type wall okay so in so next one will be tangent end arc so what is meant tangent tangent means like creating of walls okay of irregular see if i select see i am selecting like this so irregular shape of wall so it doesn't have any 90 degrees or ortho you can go with like this shape so to create any uh, irregular shapes we can use this tool okay and next one fillet fillet arc so what is my fillet i think you have learned in autocad also right fillet means the cutting position will be sharp edges in autocad but coming to rivet it's like uh, radius see at the corner i have selected two walls but see here with the certain radius i will select six feet now enter You just click on again you can select and you can type six feet so see by using the fillet arc i have created a corner a sharp edge into the radius okay and next one peak lines peak lines already we have discussed in previous classes so you can go through that okay now you understand what is draw tools right so with the help of draw tools we need to create our 3d model so let's get check into the 3d model just see now you can see it is in 3d models right so uh, previously what we did for this so we have selected so i will select all the walls like this and using shift key we can deselect and again in top constraint we need to go with first floor and apply then it will be changed to the exact level so i am telling it has been changed to the exact level how will you find out that so in project browser go with elevation and select any elevation okay now here you can see right uh, see if I increase the dimension of floor, the walls will be increased. See, now I will enter 12 feet, enter. What's happened? So the wall, wall also get raised, right? So wait, I will also change this to the realistic and the fine. Now we can see. Okay. If I deselect uh, undo, then you can see like this. Again, I will create. constant and first floor and apply I think now you can understand again I am repeating I have selected this two and this one too ok now again first floor apply now you can understand so how to convert this ok now after create a draw by using draw tools we have drawn the 
walls right now you want to modify this so how to modify so we'll see modify tools also okay so first one will be align so in align so what is the use of align so align means in the name itself we can see alignment okay uh, now my two walls I will pick these two walls see select this and see for this wall faces I need to arrange this wall face okay so with the help of align tool I can join we can, I can merge okay I can do like this and next one is offset offset select offset and here the distance I will enter 10 feet enter and just if you select this you will get offset walls okay so interiors we can easily use offset also okay now next one is mirror so what is mirror and how to create a mirror so already I told you mirror we have two types of mirrors okay so first one pick axis and next one draw axis if you are going pick axis you need to have a one reference okay now see I will select this walls and this one also if you are going with pick lines select this and this is my now you can see my walls has been mirrored with the help of this wall I have created a mirror wall okay now draw mirror so draw mirror means we don't we, need, we don't want any uh, references we can directly select this and if I select at the left side then this will be mirrored okay right now you can understand the mirror tools right now what is move so how to move the object okay then select the move tool and enter you will get a base point at a certain distance I can move if I want to move that plan for 100 feet type 100 and enter all randomly we can move all the walls okay by using arrow keys also we can move it okay and copy then how to copy the walls see select the copy option if you want multiple copies go with multiple option select this and copy number of copies also you can create and wherever we want we can create okay next one rotate see now I need to rotate this walls full into the uh, vertical then select this and go to the rotate option okay here we will get a cursor line just select this and where you need to rotate you just click on the degrees it will be rotated okay now the option trim see here we have a gap gap and it should be extended so at that time we need to go with trim and extend select this one and select this one you are getting trimmed okay now see here also you can use this one so if you want any sharp edges then if you select this it will be creating a wall of sharp edges and you can delete this like this okay now see next option will be trim extend single element and multi elements so if I going with trim extend single element how to use this tool okay select this one see and this is my wall face and this is my wall extent okay easily I can extend my wall okay so now again if I want to extend this wall I cannot extend why because I have selected only single element not a multi element if I select multi element let's one second so multi element so select the wall and now you can see select one and two and three so multiples as as to the walls we can extend to the walls okay now next option is split with gap so what is split and what is gap next let's discuss see if I select this wall what will happen from here to here it has been selected right 
if I want to break this wall, then I need to go with split element. Click on this. Now we can observe the wall has been splitted into two. Okay, right? You can see a line here. And if you are going with split with gap, if I select split with gap, see here you can observe a gap and it will be divided also. Okay. So this you can observe in 3D model. See, this is with split and this gap is with split with gap. So small one like 2 mm gap we can see it. Okay. I think you understand what is a split and split with gap options. So if you double click on the project browser in the floor plans, you will convert, you will get into 2D and go with next option is array. So what is my array? So arranging in rows and columns, right? So now I need to arrange this circle. I will create 10 feet. Now I need to arrange this circular type of wall in rows and columns. Okay. Then select the wall and go to array option. Okay. Here we'll get a option like number. Here I need to enter number of copies. Okay. And select any one base point and just move at a distance of 40 feet. Now we can see the array. Right easily again also here also we can create a number of copies if i want to increase i can increase if i want to decrease i can decrease like this okay next one scale what is mean by scale so i will delete this one it's because full of loaded Here. select wall so as simply I will explain you about the scale option in Revit ok I don't get confused See here it is the scale option. Okay. Now, uh, what is the dimension of this box? It's like 20. Okay. And this one 35. 20 and 35. Right. Now, see by using scale option, I will select all the walls. I'll select all the walls and go with select. And see one starting point or any end point. So first this one and this one. If you select, if you are incre if you want to increase a multiple into the double, you need to go with double. So I already I have given 35. So 35 plus 35 it's 70. So if I want 70, you can directly type as 70. You'll getting increased, right? See if you go with measure tool, you can measure the options and 45. Right, so you can go with like this. If you want to decrease, also you can decrease. Okay, next, what is pin and unpin? So, see, I have selected the wall, and if I want to move, I can directly move like this. Right, so with the help of pin option, I cannot move, I won't move, so it will be like fixed. So, if I want different wall, I can move, but Pinned walls will never move, copy, mirror, offset. Okay. So uh, after pinning, if I do, if I want to move means, then you, you can deselect. So it will be unpinned. Okay. And the la last option will be delete. So if you select the delete option, it will be delete. Okay. So I think in this session you have learned what is draw tools. So what is draw tools and what is a modify tools. Okay. So, right, next, 
see we are going with next concept so now you are seeing the draw tools and modify tools right next we go with duplications okay so how to duplicate an object or a wall okay now what is a duplicate so this is my main copy okay so in property you can check it out basic wall of generic 200 mm right if i want exact 9 inches of wall then what we have to do we need to create a duplicate so for creating a duplicate you need to go with edit type duplicate and here you are going to change the name as 9 inch ok and edit here you have to mention 9 inch the size of thickness here ok click on ok see now it has been changed to 9 inches and ok now see if I select this wall it will be 9 inch if I select this one this is 200 because I have selected this only if I want to change these two walls also you need to select this and go to properties and here we have a number of walls so here it is we have created duplicated 9 inches wall you need to select that tools ok next so I think you understand what is duplicate right next one floor how to create a floor so for this I will create directly so here we have a floor option ok so first we have completed wall option we are going to next one is floor select the floor see again draw tools and the modify tools ok so so in revit already I told you draw tools and modify tools are most important do practice every day ok and if I am going with directly pick lines method or you can go with uh, any shape also so if I going to with shape you need to create like this ok and the floor thickness is in 150 mm ok and click on finish mode so go with 3d model now you can see the floor right now this is ground floor if you want to create a floor in first floor select first floor again floor here you can go with pick lines and you can pick the lines like this so yeah it is like extra it is that so no problem you can by using modify tools we can cut the extra portions like this and see it is in a mid center to center you need to move to the corners by using arrow keys you can move it huh. so now it is done you just click on finish mode so it is asking would you like two walls to be joined ok we can join the walls and we can go and check it in 3d now we have created a flooring first floor if I want to raise wall in first floor what I have to do again go with first floor now see go with architecture wall again if you want to create wall click on that from end to end so now at the time I can use only to the bit off and go with view and again 3d I think you can understand now how to create walls and all and I will change to the sorry now it is in second floor right now we have created a walls to the ground floor and first floor ok now in next session we are going to learn how to place doors and windows and what are the duplicates of doors and windows ok uh, 
okay if you have any doubts you can message me okay thank you bye